have heart. has shown me so much. It's, it's more than knowledge. It's the truth. Who gave you ancient knowledge and new purpose? I know. What did it show you, Agent Barton? I have seen the true power of the Tesseract. And when I wield Who showed you this power? Who controls the would-be king? I was a king. The rightful king of Asgard. I am a king! Christian him. He who put the scepter in your hand. What is good YouTube, Wash you here with another video on Avengers Endgame. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to smash that like button down below. If you do want to enter the competition to win Captain Marvel tickets, all you got to do is hit me up on Instagram by follow me at Wash you and make sure to comment on a picture or send me a DM let him know that you are entering. If you do want to win the Hasbro Infinity Gauntlet that I will be giving away at the end of March, just comment down below who is your favorite superhero or supervillain. So, Loki, is he dead? Isn't he dead? Let's be honest, guys. Loki didn't die is one of the biggest videos on my channel. So we are always going to come back to this theory. Loki is alive. He isn't alive. Which fence are you on, guys? Call to action down below. Comment, let me know. So there's been many conspiracy theories, mainly by me. Um, and then obviously everyone else, you know, followed lead. But essentially, what is what, what what the argument is is that Loki isn't dead because the characterization, the characteristics, the personality of Loki was all over the place in the Avengers Infinity War scene just before Loki gave an Infinity Stone to Thanos. One minute he was acting all scared and nervous, then he disappeared. Then the next minute he's very confident because. We've got the Hulk. And there's many reasons why there's a shadow in the background, but I'm not going to bore you. There's a fact that he's using the wrong hand when he gets the butter knife out. But does that mean that Loki didn't die? And then there's also the Hulk theory that Loki in the comics can obviously teleport, shapeshift, can do a lot of different things in the comics. Obviously, Loki's been a girl in the comics. Loki's been a lot of different things. So the bit, there is a big theory saying that the Hulk that was sent down to Earth was really Loki, god of mischief. And it wasn't Bruce Banner. Whether them theories are right or wrong, it's very interesting speculation that is still being talked to this very day. Tom Hiddleston himself at Ace Comic Con is still going, yeah, Loki died being a hero. But let's be honest, guys, even if he knew, he wouldn't be allowed to say anything. So we know we've got the streaming service coming out from Disney soon, and we know there will be a Loki TV show on there. But is it going to be Tom Hiddleston being the main star? No. It's most likely going to be a prequel series. They have released a bunch of details. He's going to be talking about his previous life. So uh, I am still looking forward to it, but not as much as I would have been had it been my boy Loki. So there's a new theory come out that says Loki is alive, kind of. So it's quite interesting. In early drafts of Thor Ragnar Rock, had Thor go to Hell Stroke Valhalla, can't remember which one, to rescue Loki, who was there because of his death in Dark World. So originally, Loki was supposed to die in Dark World, but the test screen audience wouldn't accept it, wouldn't be happy with it. It's like committing suicide, killing Loki off, because Loki is probably the most popular character in the MCU after Iron Man, I guess you could say. So Loki was supposed to be in Thor's vision in the Age of Ultron, but they removed it because test screen audience got confused and thought Loki was behind Ultron. Thor's vision was of hell. Heimdall was in it and Heimdall died in battle. Loki almost was in it. Loki died in the battle. They died 
in part of the battle and explained in the next paragraph. Many people have thought it was stupid for Loki to try to kill Thanos. Yeah, I was literally the first person on YouTube to say that. So stupid one could call it suicide. Maybe it was suicide. Dying in battle places you in Valhalla. And that's how it worked in the comics. The movies might be different. So maybe he went there to talk to Odin or Frigga. Or maybe he went to hell to talk to Hela. Or maybe he just went to one place to spare being snapped. Do people in hell or Valhalla get snapped? Do snapped as guardians go to hell? Or Valhalla? That is a very interesting question. But it, it is a pretty interesting theory. It says Loki went to Asgard afterlife on purpose. Loki isn't dumb. He knows what's going on. I'm confident we see Loki in Endgame because 2012 New York. But I do think we see post Thanos choke Loki too. So essentially what he's saying is because technically Loki didn't get snapped. He was technically in some kind of a battle, I guess. There was a fight. So he would have went to Valhalla. So he could be resurrected by Thor, so to speak. Because it's highly been rumoured that Thor will go to Valhalla and Hell to raise an army, obviously to get Hela out, so that she, if she's there, because we have no actual factual, factual, factual evidence that Hela actually even died. So if Loki was there, maybe Loki could slip out as well. I still think it's a really stupid concept to kill off Loki. I know like the Russo bros said, yeah, Loki's dead and there's no resurrections this time. But let's be honest, they did lie about the title of the movie saying it never been spoken before. The title was never spoke before. And then Kevin Feige is like, yeah, we've known the title since the start. And then we've got some people thinking the title for Avengers 4 is Annihilation. And then we find out my boy Kevin Feige was like, no, that was the title since before we even started shooting the movie. So I think people were using kind of the Russo bros saying, no, Loki's dead. It doesn't really mean anything because obviously fans will work things out. They can't verify any stories because if they do, it will ruin an up-and-coming story. Then at the same time, you've got Stephen McPhee and Christopher Marcus, who are the screenwriters for Avengers Infinity War and Avengers Endgame, aka Avengers 3 and 4, saying you've got no idea what's coming. So it's interesting that Tommy Nielsen has been on the low key. Uh, you know, he's low key. He's got the uh, betrayal theatre performance coming up in March in London, which should be cool. But he's not done with Disney. Obviously, he's not done. So I'm predicting that Loki is not dead. He purposely died for some reason. Loki isn't an idiot. Loki is one of the smartest people in the whole of the MCU. He is the greatest villain in the whole of the MCU. Why? Because he didn't require an Infinity Stone, really. I mean, yeah, he kind of used one on his scepter. But he didn't require an Infinity Stone. So I'm still part of Team Loki. So Loki is alive in Endgame. Revealed. Why? Because we know Loki's in it. We've seen Loki in the behind the scenes images. We know Loki is very important to it. And did Loki set up something with Doctor Strange? Because obviously Doctor Strange went forward in time 14 million 604 times. In this future timeline or future scene, did he see Loki being the savior? Because Loki could very well trap Thanos in a dimension just like the Sorcerer Supreme Doctor Strange himself could. Loki is a very smart person. And we haven't seen the Frost Giant King utilize all the powers and tricks that he can do. Although Doctor Strange did dom dominate him, in Thor Ragnarok when he had him fall in for 30 minutes. Loki is very OP and it's very interesting that no one is talking about Loki. They're all talking about Ant-Man, about Captain Marvel. I low-key think it's misdirection. Bam, Loki's gonna come out and he's gonna be like big in this movie and I was gonna be like shocked and they're like, oh my god, Wall Street, you were so right. But everyone thinks that if you put YouTube videos up, that you've got to be right. No, we're just, it's like discussion based. We are discussing things here, guys. So hopefully the Loki army comes out in full support. So in the past, they killed Loki off. The fans weren't happy. The fans are not happy about this time. Will they bring him back? There has been multiple reshoots dating up to a couple of weeks ago, but Wall Street, they've already finished the movie. Well, if they've finished the movie, why have we got a bunch of the stars in the movie at Pinewood Studios, you know, like redoing shots, you know? Yes, I know Tom Hiddleston's not been seen there, but that doesn't mean he didn't film something for Avengers Endgame post 
what they film when they concurrently filmed Avengers 3 and 4 back to back. So guys, Loki's death was intended. It was part of his plan. No resurrections this time because technically if they do time travel and I don't think they're time traveling to get the Infinity Stones, I think what they're going to do is make a copy of them, uh, copy the DNA, the kind of the, the, the data, so to speak, from just like they did with Vision, like Shiri did. Loki will be alive because when they reverse the snap, the snap would have never happened. At least it would have never happened to the people who got snapped because they technically wouldn't remember it happening. Um, I mean, it can get quite confusing if you let it get confusing. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe, and comment. I will be doing more theory based on the channel. I've not really done many theories recently, but we will be hitting up more theories. So I fully believe, and I will stand by my word, that Loki isn't dead. So if you do want one tickets to see Captain Marvel, all you got to do is hit me up on Instagram, at Warshu. Let me know that you followed me by commenting or sending me a DM if it lets you or something like that. And if you do want to win tickets, do that. And if you do want to win the Hasbro Infinity Gauntlet, they're so pricey, but I've had so much support from you guys. Hopefully we can hit 100,000 subscribers on this channel this year, which will be fantastic. Um, one thing that people don't understand at YouTube is just because a YouTube account has a lot of views and a lot of subscribers doesn't actually mean the YouTube channel is amazing. I've come across some pretty cool YouTube us in the same field as me who don't really have they have like uh, just over a thousand subscribers so youtube game is a very hard game if you don't understand how it works so don't judge the youtuber by the subscribers or the views judge them by their content anyway guys please like subscribe and comment turn the notification bell on that would be awesome and i will catch you in valhalla or hell with loki in that next loki video very soon catch ya later